we're back for day three of the Hockey Gods mural. And uh, I guess on the last one, you saw me work on the clouds and the glazing over the main image. I didn't quite get the, all the clouds done that I wanted to, but uh, we're gonna finish that today. And I'm also gonna start laying down the local color for the background. So we're gonna get set up here and um, get painted. So, ready? All right, so I've mixed up my yellow and I've got my two different sponges here. I can't really show you my yellow. I don't want to drop it on the floor, <laughs> but you get what I'm doing. But I've got kind of a more textured sponge and then a softer sponge and I'm going to alternate between the two. I've soaked them in water and uh, we're going to see if I can get the, the right texture that I want. So let's go. So now that we're done with that gold layer, I'm going to basically do the same thing with the white. So I've got my two alternating sponges. They're both pretty wet. I've got my pretty watery white. So we're going to do it all over again in a different color. So here we go. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, I 
finished my clouds for the most part. I kind of like how they look so far. I'm like 80% satisfied with how they look. We may touch them up and go back in as I continue to work on this. But for the rest of the evening, I am going to lay down the local color of this piece of fabric. It's in the back and the landscaping on this side in the background. So, uh, let's do a little, you know, art education. Education? I don't know, I looked up a definition and I wanna read it to you. <laughs> so I've heard local color in art theories and I'm just like, yeah, that makes sense, I get it. But like, I don't know the actual definition. So for the purposes of this video, I looked up the proper definition of what local color is. So, local color is the natural color of a thing in ordinary daylight, uninfluenced by the proximity of other colors, or the color of an object when seen under flat white light with no adjustment for form, shadow, or colors of light or secondary light sources. So basically what it's saying is it is the base color. So like a banana is yellow, an apple is red, so on and so forth. That would be the local color of that object. So this will be a maroon. I've got a kind of grassy knoll here, kind of a misty blue mountain, and then kind of a misty blue cloud up there. And we're gonna mix those colors up and get started. So. Onward, upward, tally ho. <laughs> hey guys, I am going to lay down my first local color, which is gonna be the fabric that's right behind all of these characters. So we're just gonna do kind of like a wash of all of this, like a real thin layer of it just to get the color down. So here we go. Okay, doke. So I finished the uh, first layer of glaze of my local color of the fabric in the background. So I'm going to mix up the colors for the grassy knoll behind the character over here and the kind of misty mountain behind him. But before we do that, let's uh, show you some detail of this. So check it out. Okay. 
All right, so I mixed up my local colors for this side. So behind Crosby hair, we're gonna put the green on the like kind of grassy knoll, and then the blue on the misty mountain and the cloud. So not too much more. So let's go. <laughs> All right, so I just finished uh, the base layers of the local color for this side. So let's take a look at it. So starting up here at the top, Scott wanted me to point out that this is a cloud, in case anybody was like confused, because he was. But that's a cloud. It's not a decision I made. Michelangelo did that. And then it comes down here and he thought it was a river. I think it's a mountain, but anyway, it's blue. It'll probably lighten up later on in further layers and such. And then the green of the hill, starting to kind of throw some layers and some depth in it with some more opaque sections to kind of indicate a little bit of shadow and start carving out, you know, the details. Uh, but it's getting pretty late and I'm kind of tired. And this is about all I had planned for this evening. So I think we're gonna clean up and call it a night. Hey friends, so I finished up for this evening. I achieved my goals for what I wanted to accomplish tonight, which was basically finish the clouds and lay down the first couple layers in the background. And I'm actually pretty happy with how it's turning out. So it's leaving me pretty hopeful for the next couple of sessions. Uh, the next time I'm here, I'm gonna start working on the, the characters. So that's a big day, so. If you're watching and you're following along, I would definitely stay tuned for that. I mean, if you're interested, if not, you know, whatever. But like, I mean, it's gonna be cool, so maybe you should. Uh, yeah. Till next time. Stay weird. <laughs>